Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. I'm gonna be doing the usual today, a little bit of Walmart, a little bit of Lidl, mainly from Aldi. We're gonna see what we can find. I'll share with you a haul and probably a meal plan. Let's get going. I decided to take you into the store, but just for a little bit to see whatever is new. If you haven't made it to the store yet, check out the Easter clearance. There's not much left here, but it's really cheap. So if there's anything you're looking for, snag it up. They had quite a few things for like the home and kitchen. We've got a lot of refrigerator organization, food organization, um, lots of that type of thing. These are some like fruit and berry keepers. I'll show you a larger one here in a second. I missed it the first go around. Some little kitchen gadgets, a citru citrus juicer, a little garlic peeler or uh, garlic dicer, I should say, and a uh, little kitchen accessories, a potato brush, and like a, the, I think it's a potato slicer, wavy knife, a wavy knife, and some stuff for trimming herbs. I decided to do a voiceover here because this aisle got so crowded when I started filming. Here is that other uh, produce saver in a larger one. And yeah, a lot of these acrylic containers, whether for your fridge, pantry, these ones are food storage. They've got the lids on them. Um, some band bamboo serving boards, I guess for like charcuterie. These would even just be cute layered on your counter. I have a wooden cutting board that I just use for decor purposes. I almost got that little bamboo Lazy Susan, two-tier Lazy Susan thing but um, several different organizational things here. I do love the look of the bamboo personally. Some cute plates, plate sets. They've got all the multicolor. They've got some glasses I'll show you uh, coming up here that match that. And these are like this little ceramic calendar. Like the, they look like the little uh, berry dishes. They've got a two pack and then a larger one. And here is another container with a bamboo lid on it. I did try to get all of the prices in the camera shots here, um, but that one is a bigger one and there's also a two pack as well. This is a very hefty ice bucket. Like I've never seen one this hefty before. Personally, I love my ice bucket. I do use it when we have company. $30 seems like a lot for it, but this one's very well like insulated. So it probably would be good for like outdoor events. So maybe that's the thought behind it, but it was definitely like super sturdy, very hefty, strong handle, all of that, good lid on it. And then here, oh, here's another storage basket with a bamboo lid. So they're definitely going with the bamboo theme. Little scrub brush. These, that was not the right price for this container. There was, there was some issues here. Uh, my store is usually better than that, but there was quite a few that were not in the right, uh, did not have the right tag. There for a second you saw the colored glasses that match the plates. And then the little lantern. It says lantern on stand, so I'm thinking that metal piece inside is the stand. And then this storage, uh, it says it's a table, and it's got, um, the lid comes off and there's storage inside. Good for indoor or outdoors. I do love a piece that, you know, offers some storage. Some little plastic water bottles. These little um, terracotta, candles. I was trying to show you, but it's kind of hard. Um, but those are a citronella candle. These, those pretty ones that you saw there were just like, had different scents. A tumbling composter, which I thought was pretty interesting. I have not done compost, although it has been something that's been on my mind. And this is a cute little thing for the garden, I guess. It's a windmill uh, rain chain, it was called. Some outdoor lights. I thought these birdhouses were so adorable. I love the colors of them. I think it said it was a chickadee birdhouse. I don't know if that's like you could only use it for chickadees, but that's what it says. I would assume it's like just for those smaller birds. Some more garden stuff, the garden edging. They had a brown one and a black one in uh, different designs. So different colors and it's a different design. And then some lights. This one didn't have a, a proper price there as well, but those are pretty neat. The little solar disc lights, some terracotta um, decorative planters. And then these planters, these are $15, a little bit bigger than those than the ones I showed you last week that were $9.99. Um, but another good option. 
And then this, oh, okay, here's a couple garden signs. Sorry if this fell all over the place. I was trying my best to capture everything, but it got so busy in that aisle. Um, then these little planters, and then this little bar cart. So definitely had some pretty nice finds. Um, and these outdoor area rugs, we have one of these from last year in our patio. All right, I am home from grocery shopping. Man, <laughs> is it windy out today. Um, so some things didn't quite go as planned. I went to Lidl and got nothing, and I went to Food Lion and got nothing. Um, Lidl I went because my understanding on the app was they had a certain ground beef on sale, and that's not what the signage was saying when I got in there, so I left with nothing. And Food Lion, I was going in for some roast beef or London broil for my husband. They have none. Apparently, they're having issues um, getting it. So I left with nothing from there as well. But I did get plenty, well, not a lot. I got something from some stuff from Aldi. I really didn't eat a whole lot. I only buy meat when it's on sale, which I did find some red stickers today. So that was really exciting. And I picked up just a couple things from Walmart. And we have some produce still on hand. I didn't really get a whole lot. This kind of is a sad little grocery haul. But here's the thing. I film and share real life. So I didn't eat a lot. I'm not going to buy a lot. We're only two people. We have stuff on hand. I'm not buying stuff just for the sake of a video. So this is real life. Let's get into the haul and then I'll share with you my meal plan. All right. So here's all I got today. We'll start with Aldi. I picked up some more tissues. I picked up some avocado oil. I use this a lot and I didn't have like a backup in the pantry. So I didn't want it to like sneak up on me where I was out. So I just bought one of those. Some indulgent trail mix for my husband, some mandarin oranges, and a few bananas. I picked up some chips. I got the jalapeno, the barbecue, and I got one original. We really enjoyed the kettle chips. I picked up an almond milk vanilla creamer and some orange juice. This I actually already drank, but I figured I'd share it with you. Um, I drank it from my way home. It wasn't bad. I was a little disappointed that it had some stevia. It is organic stevia, but I don't like artificial sugars. Um, I knew it was no sugar. Whoops. I know it was no sugar added, which was great, which is why I got it because I try to limit my sugar. But anyways, it was really thin. It wasn't super sweet, but I wasn't expecting it to be super sweet. It was good. I wish it didn't have the stevia. I don't like the taste of artificial sweeteners, although it was definitely better than like the aspartame flavor. So if stevia doesn't bother you, this might be a good option. It was like $2.49, I think. And I hadn't eaten. I was getting hungry, and I thought this was a really good option compared to what I used to do, which was grab a Snickers bar. But because I have to <laughs> limit my sugar, I decided to go for this. I picked up a dozen eggs, some bacon. I picked up some Monterey Jack cheese, three of those, two cream cheese, and a Munster cheese. And then I did also pick this up from the Aldi Fine Isle, the potato brush. I thought that this would be very handy for cleaning potatoes, better than what I've been using. So it was only, I think, $2.99. And then this was the star of today, which was some chicken. They had different cuts that were on sale, but this is the one that I have the hardest time finding. Um, well, chicken breasts in general, these are thin sliced, but that was fine. Um, $2 off, I got three packages. They have a use by date. Uh, we use or freeze by date of tomorrow. So I'll just throw these in the freezer. All will be good. And I just made sure to get packages that didn't have like a lot of puffiness or extra air, just that they looked like they were in good shape. And then from Walmart, all I picked up was some rye pumpernickel bread. My husband likes this for his lunches. And we just freeze it because it'll take him a while to use it all. So we just put it in the freezer and it's been working really great. And then I picked up, which was why I decided to go into Walmart today, um, I don't go through a lot of makeup, but I needed my loose powder. And I don't even know if this is the same one I've been buying. I don't buy it that often, so maybe they just changed the packaging. I think this is the same one, just new packaging. Anyways, that's all I got from Walmart. Here is my meal plan. I'm still going off of some of what I had planned for last week, that I didn't use all of it. Um, but if you saw one of my vlogs, I had gone through my freezer and just made a list of stuff that needed to be used up. So that's some of what this is. But tonight we're gonna do maple mustard chicken thighs. 
we're gonna make some brown rice and some cauliflower rice and kind of mix it together and steam up some broccoli. Those are all things I already have on hand. Got some rotisserie chicken meat in the freezer that we're gonna do with salad and probably, I assume there'll be leftover rice with that since I'm combining the rice and the cauliflower rice. Thinking of waffles with the bacon and eggs, I have bought a waffle maker. We haven't used it yet and I wanna give it a try. And then something to do with tacos. I don't know if it'll be tacos or nachos or pan fried burritos, something along those lines, but we've got stuff to use for that. And then leftovers. And then usually on the weekends, we play it by ear, either more leftovers or I don't know. I'm not really sure, but we've got more food if I need to come up with another meal. That is going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.